Split. Each time we run through our tsunami preparedness protocol, we find reasons to improve the system. Last night was no exception. Civil defense officials spent the day looking into reports of silent sirens. On the Big Island, residents reported 10 out of 71 sirens not functioning properly, all in the Puna and Hilo districts. County officials say state civil defense, which owns and maintains the sirens, looked over the system just last week. We heard one short um, hail from the first siren. It lasted a couple of seconds at best. Um, the next one didn't come on for quite a, quite a while afterwards. Um, the next two or three sirens were really short and indistinct. Good thing we don't rely on the sirens. We rely on neighbors, family and friends, and lots of phone calls, so we appreciate all that. Any reports of sirens not sounding in any area, we had our police go in. Um, do manual notifications, loudspeaker notifications. You know, I praise the efforts of police and firefighters getting the evacuation word out. About 800 residents and visitors made it to the island's 17 shelters. Normal monthly testing of the sirens is scheduled for this Thursday.